Things like this is the reason why we can't put our faith in the world. Look at that gas. Look at those prices. And you can't fill it up. So, yep, this world is not our home. See, these prices get rebuked. Six dollars is still a gallon and a half. This is ridiculous. Yep, it's not my home. Not my home. Jesus, take the will. Take the gas. <laughs> What's going on? Real quick, I know I was just joking on those videos, but in all seriousness, I want to give a quick reminder to believers. So, Romans chapter 12, verse 2 says, in the Amplified Version, and do not be conformed to this world any longer with its superficial values and customs, but be transformed and progressively changed as you mature spiritually by the renewing of your mind, focusing on godly values and ethical attitudes so that you may prove for yourself what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect in his plan and purpose for you. <coughs> Whoa, I don't know where that came from. But, um, but yeah, you know, so the gas, you know, I know y'all saw the prices and stuff. I know y'all like, man, you know, it's higher over here or whatever. And it is, you know, Georgia has actually the lowest in the country, but it's still high, you know, but, um, the thing about that is we constantly see the world changing. The world is changing constantly. So while the world is changing, we must also continue to renew our mind. We must also continue to get in the word, renew it, change our mind daily, renew our mind daily and focus on the things of the Lord. Because things like this, you know, they look discouraging. You know, I ain't going to say, look, it is discouraging. You know, like that, you know, how I'm going to get back and forth. I'm about to get a bike. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get a, a moped or whatever. But this is why we can't be conformed to the world. We can't rely on the things of the world, their values, you know what I'm saying? What they say in the media, stuff like that. We have to trust God. And I'm not just obviously speaking to uh, you, but I'm speaking to myself as well. Just a reminder, you know, that God is in control. And once we truly have that understanding, truly have that in our heart, we'll be at peace. You know what I'm saying? He is the peace. So in all that, you know, trust him and continuously change your mind. As this world is changing, the values, you know, we can't trust certain things. Only one we can truly trust is God. So don't get discouraged by what's going on out here, but just look up. And know that your help draws nigh. You know, um, and don't put your faith in the um, gas prices either. Because it's going to get probably crazier. Peace.